Hey guys, what's up? This is Liberates, and that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to teach you guys how to motion track 3D text in <clears throat> onto a scene. So, first let's get started because this tutorial is probably going to be pretty long. So, you're going to get your clip and drag it into Sony Vegas. And as you can see, this is just a, it's just a spectator clip. I just cropped out the spectator, the buttons over here, and then black bars, and it looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do from here is you're going to go render as or file render whatever and you're gonna save it it's gonna be on something else like whatever you usually use to render videos but you're gonna wanna go up to image sequence and click on it and now you're gonna wanna f make a folder in your desktop well you probably wanna do this before and I already made one and I called it Buju because there's gonna be a lot of images in here so you don't want this right on your desktop it's gonna cause problems so I'm gonna save this as um, motion track and I'll just hit save don't worry about any of these down here just hit save and this shouldn't take too long so I don't think I'm gonna pause this oh sorry if I sound different and I'm if I'm snorting a lot more than normal I'm kinda sick right now so yep um so this should be done soon do 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 Okay, so now we're done with Sony Vegas, just sex it out. And now, as you can see, we have all these images, and it's pretty sexy. So, now what you want to do is come into Buju, which you can get for free. Just look on YouTube, type in how to get Buju for free. Now go to Import Sequence, and you're going to want to go back, 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 back. Um, now you're going to want to hit Users, and then, well, you don't have to, wherever you saved it. And then I'm going to go Tanner, because that's me, and then Desktop and then Buju. And now as you can see, there's all these images. <laughs> so you're going to want to click on the very first one, the very first one, and hit open. Now hit apply, and then if this thing pops up, which it might not for you guys, then just hit yes. And then hit close, and then close. Make sure you apply it though. Now as you can see as we scroll through this, it's it's just the spectator scene, and it's pretty, pretty hot and sweaty. So, now what you want to do is come down to edit camera, right there and go to frame rate and change it to 29.97 remember to hit apply and then close now what you want to do from here is hit this track features make sure all frames is selected and then hit start now this is going to take a little bit so I'm going to pause the tutorial and I'll come back when it's done alright guys so now this is done and as you scroll through it you'll see there's a bunch of red thingy majigger doodles so what you want to do from here is you're going to go camera solve and make sure all frames is selected and check optimize camera path smoothness and hit start and this is gonna take a while but hopefully not as long so I'll pause it and come back when it's done alright guys it's done and as you can see uh, there's no more red things and there's a lot less and they're just a bunch of blue and yellow dots and so yeah and they're motion tracked the whole way through so <clears throat> what we gonna wanna do from here is you wanna go to around the middle of the clip or the scene and so like right here and you're gonna hit control G or I think it's like command G on the Mac I really don't know I've never owned a Mac before <laughs> and now you're gonna click add coordinate from hand and basically we're gonna make a little like oh, what's it called again not a graph but ah, oh, you'll see as we go through okay so now you're gonna hit after we hit add coordinate from hand you're gonna basically you wanna choose you're gonna wanna choose two vertical lines <laughs> So let's see, I'm going to choose this yellow one, and you're going to hold control, and then you're going to choose the, another one that's vertical to each other. Not too close to each other, but pretty vertical. So these two I chose, as you can see. And then you're going to come into zine, Scene Geometry, go to Type, go down to Z axis, and hit Connect to Selected. So now we're done with that one. Now you're going to want to choose two horizontal ones. So I'm going to hit Add Coordinate from Hint again. And as you can see, so those two are my Z axis so my X axis I'm gonna do one like right around here by hitting it and then hold control and come over here and I'll click on this one and you're gonna wanna come over to scene geometry again and change the type to an X axis and hit connect to selected and now you're gonna click add coordinate from hint one more time and we're gonna make it origin so as you can see the X axis are these two and the z-axis are these two so this yellow one right here looks like it'll be the origin so go back to the top one and just click on it <clears throat> and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click type and change it to origin and hit connect to selected so now we're done with this you're gonna wanna hit update coordinate frame that's important and hit close 
So now we're basically done with Buju. All we have to do from here is go to export, export camera solve, and come down to export type and save it as or do it change it to cinema 4D and hit browse and you're gonna want to make another folder for this or you could just save it right under your desktop um, I already made a folder and I named it blarg because it's hot and I'm gonna change the file name to camera solve hit save and then come down to scale scene by and go to 100 type in 100 that's important now hit save and that's done so now we're gonna go export sequence and you're gonna wanna <coughs> browse and you you can save this into the same folder so blarg and I'm gonna save this as video and hit save <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit you just wanna get a hit okay and if this pops up which it might not for you guys hit yes and then this I'm gonna let this render and I'll come back when it's done <laughs> alright it's done rendering and it shouldn't take that long so now once you're done with that once it's done rendering you're done with bougie so just exit out of that if you want and I'm just gonna hit lose and then you're gonna want to go to um, Cinema 4D, click File, go down to Open or Control O, and you're gonna open the Camera Solve or the one with the Cinema 4D icon, <laughs> the one that's the Cinema 4D file. Hit Open, and now you get all these little dots in this plane. So now what you want to do is, um, by the way, this needs to be there. Don't delete that because you don't think it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be there. So now you're gonna want to come down to the light right here, the four arrows, and come down to um, Background and you're gonna double click down here to make a new material or go file new material control n and then you're gonna double click on the material <laughs> double click stupid mouse okay and you're gonna come to the texture click the arrow go down to load image but we're not gonna load an image we're gonna load the video so now we're gonna hit on the video and click open and then I'll exit out of that <clears throat> and we're gonna drag this onto the background like this <laughs> and now as you scroll through it actually first you're gonna wanna come down to the frames and on this little thing you're gonna click the arrow and drag it all the way out so you can see all the frames and then as you go through this you'll see it's just basically the scene and so yeah that's good and as you can see this object the null object it just stays there and it doesn't move and that's really good because that's what we're gonna be use, using for motion track and see it doesn't move it stays in the same spot the whole time so now that we're done with this um oh one more thing to be able to cast shadows to make it look more realistic you're gonna wanna make a um uh... what is it a floor i think yeah a floor so go to the light and make the floor right there and then you're gonna hit the floor go to coordinates and on the x and the z axis leave the y alone you're gonna scale this up um, and make it look make it like that make it pop out like that and it looks hot. Actually, we got to make the x-axis a little bit more like that. And now, if we scroll through this, you just see a weird big thingy popping out at you, and that's hot. So now, what we want to do is you want to drag the material, the same material, onto the floor, and then you're gonna go to the floor, right-click Cinema 40 tags, and you're gonna come down to compositing, and then you're gonna want to click. Um, self shadowing uncheck it and go to compositing background and so now when we render this out I screwed something up um, <laughs> I'll be right back hold on I gotta try and fix this okay I see what I did wrong I'm sorry about that guys so now what you wanna do from here after so I basically just deleted the materials and um, so now after you've made your plane or your floor bigger you wanna drag the same material onto it like that and then you're gonna come down to projection right here and you're gonna change this to frontal that's what I did wrong okay now after that you wanna right click on the floor in cinema 4d tags and come down to uh, compositing and now you wanna uncheck self shadowing and go down to compositing background and now if you render this out it's just the normal scene and these bars right here you can just ignore them because I don't think they won't be rendered so now that I'm not retarded and I got that figured out you're gonna wanna come to like where you want your text to be and so I want mine to be right here so I'm gonna put in um, I'm gonna add just some basic MoGraph text object and it's pretty small so I'm gonna have to change that and make it bigger so go to object and I'll make the depth around 100 and then the text the height looks like it's gonna be like 2000 might be big enough it's a bit too big I think um, I'm gonna type in my name or I'll type in something. Type in whatever you want. I'll type in RAR because RAR is hot. And I'll go to uh, just choose your font. 
and I'm gonna make this around 1,500 and basically now it's just guess and check because you can't really see the floor that well so now render it out and you can see it's just kinda chilling there we don't want that so I'm gonna come to the rotation tool right there this little circle thing and click on the text object and I'm gonna rotate it like that and render that out and that's not good so I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more <coughs> and that doesn't seem good either so we're gonna go like that and then go back to the tool and you're gonna move it down it looks like and up render and it looks too big so yeah this is guess and check mostly um I'm gonna so you just wanna move a screw around with the height and stuff and all that and I will I'm gonna pause the tutorial and I'll come back when I'm done with this and show you how to add the shadows Okay, so now I have this roughly where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly add a material to it. So make a new material, go into it. I'm going to change the brightness all the way up. And I'm going to make it a blue color. And hit OK. And then I'm going to come down to Reflection, check it, and go down to Fresnel. You don't have to do this. Just experiment however you want it. Now I'm just going to drag this onto the text. <coughs> and if you render this out, you can see it's in there. But it doesn't look like it's actually on it because I haven't... I didn't toy around with it that much because I just wanted to get this tutorial done. So now from here, what you want to do is um, you want to hit, <coughs> you want to make a new light, and you're gonna drag this up to where you can actually see the text. <coughs> so like up, up. What's it doing? I don't know. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna go like that. Drag it up, and now um, you can see that it has a light on it, but I didn't do anything yet. So click on the light light and go to shadow and change shadow to shadow maps soft and now you can see it casts a little shadow but see how the shadows on these are all facing this way so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the light and I'm gonna drag it up here and I'm gonna make it so that the shadows are going one way or going the same way as everything else so I don't there's not the the shadows aren't really that much anymore I don't know why on my last one they were um, it's not casting that much of a shadow is what I'm trying to say as I'm talking to myself. Um, so I'll render that out. And yeah, it's probably just because of the angle. So just experiment with that. Make it perfect. Do it better than I did. And I'll show my other one, my other example, one more time at the end so that you guys can see what it's kind of supposed to look like. And thank you guys for watching. And I hope you learned lots of good stuff. Peace.